Hey guys, so I'm pretty late on doing this haul um, just because I've been so busy um, working and stuff. But I did go to IMATS in LA this year um, back in, was it in June? <laughs> I don't even remember because it was so long ago and I've had all this stuff just sitting here. And I've been meaning to do a haul. I just haven't had time. But I'm doing the haul now. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got at IMATS, then stay tuned. Okay, so I spent a lot of money. I had been saving up pretty much the entire year because I did go last year. And I'll put a link to the haul that I did last year if you're interested in seeing that. But yeah, so when I, we, me and my boyfriend originally planned to stay there, but we ended up not staying there. We only went one day because I wanted to go Saturday, but the tickets were sold out. So I waited too long to buy them. So we only went on Sunday, which I'm kind of glad because I went on a Saturday last year. And it was pretty busy. I mean, it was busy on a Sunday this year as well, but I don't know. I just felt like it was maybe not as busy. And yeah, I don't know. I felt like there were more people there to like buy makeup rather than just to kind of hang out. Because when I went last year, it was more like, I don't want to sound like mean or anything, but it was just like there was a lot of like... I guess like YouTube fans so it was really packed and there was a lot of um, young people that weren't really there uh, interest that were interested in actually buying makeup because I am trying to become a freelance makeup artist so I was there to buy stuff for my kit which I did um, so yeah um, the first counter that I went to was um, I think it was the makeup for everyone and um, we got there before it was open because last year we didn't even get there until like 12 or 1 and we waited in line for so long but this year we uh, made it in time to get there before it was open so that was the first booth that I went to because um, I really wanted to get some of their stuff so um, it was already really packed but um, if you are a makeup artist and you do have a pro card then you get I think it was instead of 20% you get either 30 or 40% off so I got that pro discount um and I wanted to get some foundations because I want I I do have a um where is it I do have a Ben Nye matte foundation for my kit but I was I wanted to get just like some different kind of foundations and not just that because those are um a lot more creamy I wanted like a liquid so I picked up they had a deal where you get five five of their um uh HD makeup for a hundred dollars when normally like one of them is close to like forty or fifty dollars so it was a really good deal um and they had on the paper you wrote down what you wanted whatever they had pre-selected ones that you could choose that they recommended but I had asked one of the makeup artists there which one she recommended and she recommended different ones so these are the ones that I got that she recommended so I got um where does it say the name I got number 120 which she matched this as my color number one I don't know if you could see like the true to color because my lighting isn't really that good um, I did I am rearranging this this is my I guess like makeup room um, it's a spare room in our house um, so um, we made it into my makeup room and I'm hoping to eventually like paint and stuff so I kind of have like stuff everywhere right now so I'm kind of working on lighting and a new setup so uh, bear with me and it's also nighttime right now so the lighting isn't as natural and then I also got number 135 which is a like more pink undertone you aren't really gonna be able to tell um, that kind of shows and then I also got number 128 which is a yellow tone and then I got number 140, which is also a pink undertone. And then for a dark shade, I got number 178. Which it's always good to have um, a dark color and then some light colors because then you can also mix like these together and make like a lighter shade. So you don't necessarily need like every single color that they have. And then also for Makeup Forever, I got... Um, two of the aqua creams Ooh. I got number 13 and it's just like a I guess like a 
pinky pearly kind of color. It's really, really pretty. I haven't used these yet. I don't really plan on using any of these for my own personal use because um, I did buy them for my kit. And then I got number 12, which is um, a really pretty gold. And then I also picked up um, the Aqua Smoky Lash. I wanted the regular one because I already have an Aqua Smoky, Smoky Lash, but they were sold out of it. So I was like, oh well, I'll just get this one to have as a backup. And then after that, I just went to a few other booths. Um, I went to the Beauty So Clean and I got their cosmet Cosmetic Sanitizer Mist. I got this in my kit when I took the class, um, the O2B2 class. And I wanted to get a big bottle of it so that it would last me a lot longer. And I didn't really like the sample size ones because they kind of sprayed everywhere. So this one, it's a big bottle and I can put it in little bottles. And you just use this to sanitize your, um, your makeup because, you know, you don't really realize how much bacteria actually grows on your own personal makeup. And if you are a makeup artist and you have a kit, it's really good to sanitize your makeup after different clients. So um, it says... It says it's dermatologically tested, non-irritating, and it effectively cleanses, rejuvenates, and removes bacteria from pressed powders, eyeshadows, cream foundations, etc. So, that is that. If you're interested, um, I'll put a link to their website below. And then I went to um, the Model in a Bottle, and I've been wanting to get this for so long. And I'd always seen girls use it on YouTube and stuff, but I never, um, I just never had bought it online. And they had a really good deal. I think it was, um, two for 35. I got the, the original, and then they have a new, uh, sensitive skin formula. I haven't used them yet either. Um, this is the new sensitive skin formula. It's the purple, um, packaging and this one is the pink packaging and this is just the normal model in the bottle and then the lady was so sweet they were handing out um if you if you got the two of them then you got a free uh, model in a bottle super gentle eye makeup remover and as you can tell I've been using this and I absolutely love this stuff it gets off all my eye makeup sometimes um different eye makeup removers I have trouble getting my um uh cream eyeliner or my gel eyeliner still to come off and this gets that off and this I can scrub my eye I can uh, lift up my eyelashes and scrub in my eyelashes and even like it probably does get in my eye and it doesn't irritate at all I use about three pumps of it per eye so it's kind of going by fast but I still really like it and then I picked up um, some of the Perian Spirit professional makeup brush cleaner I haven't ever tried this before but I've heard really good things about it um, the lady was doing a demonstration and, um, it's, when you clean your brushes, it's supposed to dry a lot faster than say like the MAC, um, brush cleaner, how you kind of have to wait a little bit for the brush to dry because it's still a little wet. This dries really, really fast. Um, says it's environmentally safe, revolutionary product cleans conditions and disinfects your brushes for use with makeup and or adhesives. So... This is like an all-in-one. You're cleaning, sanitizing, and conditioning all at once. So I'm really excited to try this stuff. Um, I wouldn't recommend this as your like main brush cleaner. I would say still deep clean your brushes because you're never fully going to get all of your makeup out. And then I picked up two. I've been wanting to pick up these for so long and they had them there. I think I got these at the Cinema Secrets booth. Um, they're the Z palettes. I got the normal size in pink. And then they also had their new professional sizes, which in comparison, I'll show you, I'll show, they're it's a little bit bigger. I think you can fit like a few more eyeshadows. So this is a professional size and then this is a normal size. I got two of those. I stopped by the Sigma booth. I thought they were going to have brushes, but they didn't. They weren't selling them. They just had them for display. But Makeup by Tiffany D was there. And I got to take a picture of her and I'll insert that here. But they were handing out free gifts. So I got a free, um, what is this? They're blending E25 brush. Just a fluffy shader brush. And then I went to the Crown Brush booth, um, 
and I got a lot of brushes. I'll just kind of quickly go through them. Um, I got their C404 Small Duo Face Brush. So I thought this would be good as like a highlighter brush. Um, I got one of these things. A little mini eyeliner for like travel because I love their eyeliner brushes. And then I got um, two, I think two of their uh, regular size eyeliner brushes that I use all the time that I love. They just look like this. They have like a yellow tip and then like a black brush uh, handle. And then I got one of these like dome, um, like kind of slanted, fluffy brushes. Doesn't have a name. I got the C430 Duo fiber crease brush. It's kind of like a like a blendy brush. Um, and then I got a like a bigger size of that. It's the C49 429 Deluxe Duo fiber crease. It's like a bigger fluffy brush. Then I got one of these tiny little brushes. I thought it'd be good for like under the eye. Looks like that doesn't have a name. Um, got one of these for eyebrows because I use one of these every day and I got one for my kit. And I got an angled eyeliner. Um, then I got one of their uh, like foundation brushes but it's slanted and I thought it would be good for going in like creases and stuff. Um, I got a uh, fan brush. Doesn't have a name either. And then I got a powder brush. This is a big powder brush doesn't have a name. And then I stopped by another booth. Um, I don't remember the name. It was like the one when you first walked in. It was like the, the, the brand of the brushes that was like the sponsor on all the, on all the bags. But I got, um, two of the, these spatula. So I can scoop out, um, cream foundations from like my Ben Nye palette like this. You just use a little scooper scoop out a little bit at a time that way you're not wasting any product um i got those and then also from the crown brush booth i got uh two packs of mas mascara ones i got some um doe foot uh lip ones and then some regular just brush lip ones that are disposable for my kit then i went to um the NYX booth because I just had to go there because I always I always spend a lot of money on NYX. I spent a lot of money last year and there was no exception this year. So I picked up um, a ton of lip liners. I got all of these. Let's see. I'll try and go through them really fast. I got Deep Purple, Nude Pink, Pale Pink. Ah! Never, which is like a really dark kind of like purple. I got natural and burgundy, which is like a really pretty uh, like red. It's showing up darker on camera. I got a brown black, just because I thought it would be pretty interesting to have a brown black lip liner. Uh, I got soft brown, uh, coffee. This one was really cool. Orange. Because orange lips are in. Uh, cola, which is like a brown. And peekaboo uh, neutral. And nude beige. So I tried to get a range of colors for like different skin tones because I got like the lighter ones and then like I have darker ones for darker skin tones. Um, these I got all for my kids.